Does anybody know who put out that song? Yeah. Hello, Chrissy Hine. Hello. She can kick your butt. So, okay, here's the deal. I'm out of breath. And, uh, I was trying to really be cool on that song. It's my one moment in the show where I just pretend I'm in my room and I'm just, you know, you guys aren't really here. And, uh, you have to have moments like that where you just set your spirit free and you let yourself be a good girl. And that's what I teach my fans. Just, they keep saying, what's the you know, secret to success? And I'm like, you just show up. <laughs> and, and, and you literally have to. Yesterday was a very dark day for me. And people usually know my story by reading about it in the papers or seeing about it on the Oprah show or something. And I'm not really proud of some of the things I've done, but I've always been pretty honest. And people have written to me saying, what the heck are you doing that for? Because I'm like, well, when I'm not here someday, they will do a VH1 behind the scenes. And so I might as well go ahead and tell it from my perspective. So, anyway. Okay, here's the deal. I really need you guys right now. And this is a very serious moment. This is the only part of the show where I'm going to... I've never done this before in my 30 years. Okay? I need every person in this room to join in with me on something that um, is really hard. But it's something I said, I talked to Marty Stewart this afternoon. Um, I have him on speed dial, by the way. Um, yeah, he's got good hair. Anyway, um, I called him and I said, brother, I'm in trouble. And he said, okay. Because see, we live this lifestyle of this isolation on this bus, right? People think it's a glamorous thing. Well, I'm telling you right now, in the spirit of tonight, uh, when I showed up here today, I didn't think I could come out here and do what I'm doing right now. Because here is what maybe some of you don't know. Last Saturday, I almost died in a motorcycle wreck. And it's the truth. Um, you may have read about it, but uh, I've cheated death four times in the last two years. And someday I'm going to write about it. And uh, But for right now, I'm just telling you this because I need you. Uh, this is real hard for me. Um, this character sitting behind me, his name is David, the drummer behind me, literally stepped in in a matter of what, David, 24 hours, and said, I'll be there. And uh, my husband was fatally, I mean, he was almost fatally wounded. Uh, they amputated his leg this week, and he is the love of my life. It crushed his left hand, so I wear his wedding ring on my finger. And he's laying in a hospital where they put vets, you know, to try to rehabilitate. And I called him right before we came out on stage, and I can't imagine going on stage without him, because he's my drummer, he's my husband, he's my love of my life. I did it once with my mom, and that was a learning experience, time to grow up, right? When you get married in June, you don't expect two months later to be without your husband. So, I just want to thank you, David, for being here, because you've saved my life. something that is for me and not you, and it's going to take just a minute, and I need you to just for a minute and a half to be quiet, no heckling. God bless you, my daughter. What? God has blessed me, and this is the hardest, you know, Churchill said it best, when you're walking through hell, just keep on walking. <laughs> so, um, on that note, he is laying in a bed, can't even get out, and I, he doesn't know that I'm doing this. He, um, is he there? Have you got him? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I just wanted to call you during the show and tell you that I love you and I miss you and um, that you're with us. Um, David, by the way, is doing a really good job. I and, have no doubt. And these people are sitting here hearing part of my story and I'm just announcing it for I don't know why, but I just felt the, the need to call you and say, honey, during the show, as you're laying there in the dark, um, 
light comes after darkness, and the show must go on as a metaphor. We must go on, and you're going to do your part, and I'm doing my part right this minute. And these people are joining me in that. And so I just wanted to call and tell you I love you. And uh, I can't believe I'm doing this without you, but I am. And these people are helping carry me through it. So. I know you're used to standing ovations every night, um, but that's about as good as it's going to get tonight is us clapping for you, and we're pulling for you, and um, God has a plan. I have no idea. I have some questions for him, boy. <laughs> but for now, I love you. i got to go back to work. Um, is there anything you want to tell Michigan? Uh, I love you there, <laughs> Besides that, that's easy. I mean, what do you want to tell Michigan? Say to Michigan, enough about me. <laughs> but when we come back, we're going to come back to Michigan. We're going to put it on the tour, and we're going to come back stronger than ever. All right, sweetheart, I love you, and I'm going to dedicate this next song to you, okay? And they're filming it, and so this next song is dedicated to you, my love. Okay, honey, I love you dearly.